Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about leakers. Why? Because it seems like com game companies are tired of leakers, and they're actually going after them legally. I do remember, like, leaking, let's face it, that used to be something that was completely inaccurate back in the day. Back before, like, the year 2010, leaks used to be out on, like, Game Informer, I think, and whatnot, but a lot of times they were just wrong, like... With Halo 2, I remember leaks about like being able to shoot out light bulbs and breakable doors and all this type of stuff. And I was like, a lot of the stuff that they leaked was not in the game. And, but after 2010, for some reason, leakers got smarter. Leakers got a lot more info. And their leaks started to become so accurate. Like to the point where, as I pointed in my E3 videos, a lot of E3 surprises aren't surprises. Because so many of the leaks are so accurate, especially nowadays. So many leaks are just so accurate, and it kind of sucked because it ruined the surprises, right? And the worst thing that used to happen to said leakers were that they used to get fired if they worked for the company. And I think if they didn't, they used to maybe get a warning. And we have with the most recent Nintendo leak where they basically just said we're not associating ourselves with that website anymore. So it kind of sucks for that whole website. But it seems like companies are really going after leakers now. So those of you wanting to leak, you may consider not doing it because now Activision has even filed a subpoena to try to get the leaker's identity who leaked the Call of Duty Battle Royale mode. And they're serious, man. It seems like these companies are going to start going after leakers, like, legally, like, where they actually sue them for leaking their content. So it seems like companies after so long, because it's been at least, I want to say, 10 years of just pure leaks that have been so on the point that it seems like companies are just getting tired and i'm pretty sure nintendo has already tried to sue i think at least one leaker and activision is now going for another leaker so i'm just saying it, it may be the best to get out of the leaking business if that's what you do because they seem to be coming hard after these people who leak their info and, and do i think it's a bit much uh, maybe i think the most that should happen to a leaker is maybe they lose their job credibility whatever Obviously, if the leaker doesn't work for the company, maybe there should be a slight punishment, but to be able to sue someone for leaking information, like, how do you value how much that information is worth? Like, the surprise value of the information being shown when it actually comes out rather than being leaked beforehand? Now, you could argue that leakers are part of the reason why E3 has kind of become less relevant than it used to be, because a lot of E3 info does get leaked, and that surprise that E3 is, like, half of the enjoyment of those press conferences, in my opinion. But... How much money does that really cost people? I mean, how can you put a value dollar on leaking a company's info? But it at least seems like these game companies are going to try. It seems like they're really going to be going after these people who actually leak info about their games. Or up. It seems like they're going to be really going after these leakers. And I wonder whether this will affect how much information actually gets leaked. Maybe in the future we'll go back to being really surprised at E3 and other stuff because a lot of people won't be leaking information for fear of companies actually taking legal action against them. I don't know, but what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think the leakers should be able to be sued by these game companies? And what dollar value would you put on leaking information about a game? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and subscribe, and God bless you all.